Welcome to Zen 10 with Jackie Rose of rejuventangle.com, certified Zen Tangle teacher. And we are on shading day, day five of this week's Zen 10. All you need is your pencil and your tortillon to do some shading. If you don't have a tortillon or a blending stick, you can use your finger or a Q-tip. So let's take a nice deep breath in and out. Let everything go. Relax, get centered, pick up your pencil. Let's start with that first pattern we did on day one. And with these little, I call them golf balls, but you know, they're not. Just little round shapes. Let's use the side of our pencil and just give it a little bit of shading, just on this kind of one side, not the whole thing, but just almost like a C shape here. And then with your tortillon, you can just kind of blend that in. Stain along the edges, bringing it out a little bit to have a lighter layer. And then you can, with your tortillon, you can kind of come around the whole rounded section. There's no right or wrong here. There's lots of different ways to shade. This is, I don't even think about it. I, this is just kind of what happens. So all I do is I put a little shading right along, it's like a C shape. And then I just blend it in. And then whatever happens, happens. Look how lovely it blends. And we'll do that on every one of these rounded balls. And I'm trying to keep my tortillon pointed to the line, the outline. So that'll be the first shading we'll do today for this pattern. We will be doing a little bit more with this pattern, but let's just focus on just doing the round shape balls. And I'm just gonna put some graphite in all of them and then I'll blend them all. Well, maybe I'll stop there, start blending. So when you blend, it's usually just um, little circular motions. You can also go back and forth in different directions, whatever works. And there's lots of different size stumps or blending sticks or tortillons. So I have like, you could see these two are very different sizes and some are much bigger, some are much smaller. That's the same size. I don't know about you guys, but I had a lot of fun drawing these patterns this week. And if you did too, I hope you write it in the comment section. And remember, today's the day for you to post a photo of what you did this week, of your completed tile. So there will be a posting on the Facebook page. And in the comments, just upload your photo of what you did. And so we all can see how different each one is. Okay, so for the next shading, where uh, with these little finger areas, I'm gonna put a little shading right in the beginning here, right in the crevice. And then blend that. And you can just use what's left on your tortillon for some of them. And if you have any orbs, just kind of give it a dab. I just kind of use what's left on my tortillon and just give it a brush over or dab it in. Just give some light touch here too, wherever this is. Now, the other shading we are going to do for this pattern is just right at the stems. I like to put a little bit to kind of connect them all. 
Again, everything's optional. If you have a different way to shade, please do that. Always listen to your own inner artist or outer artist. Some of you are more experienced at shading than I am. So I'm just getting out where, oh, where the stems, right at the end, beginning of these stems, and then just blending it in and pushing it out a little bit to get a lighter layer. Okay. So that's all the shading I'm gonna do for Elegon. And the next pattern we did was trumpets. So I'm gonna turn my tile because we kind of went this way. And I think for trumpets, maybe just give a shading like a, of a, I'm using what's left in my tortillon and I'm kind of just giving it an aura, like going right outside the lines. Give it a little bit of a shaded aura. can't see it very well there's not I'm gonna take my pencil actually and put a little bit down very 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 lightly because I just want a little bit Yeah, I like that. That's good. Okay, so now for these little heart um, type uh, pattern, and this is a, the name of this pattern is Love A, but it's a variation of it. So we're just gonna go right in the middle, kind of where I put those dots the other day. We're just gonna put little roundish shading right in the middle of each one of these four heart clovers. That's what it should be called, but we don't want it to be representational, so we really should not be called that. But four heart, maybe that's like five or six there. And then with your tortillon, just blend it in in a circular motion. I'm going way too fast. Let's slow that down. Focus on each blending. Shading is just as important as drawing. We still want that nice meditation benefit. Right. And now for flux, we'll just do you can do a little bit in the in the stem area and then come out to like one side. Just one side of that flux. And I'm gonna go a little bit darker where that vine is. So so I put a little bit in the beginning and I came out to the side and then I'm going to, where that vine is, because remember we drew a vine and then we drew these fluxes off the vine. So finding where that vine is, I'm going to kind of go right in the middle, a little bit darker. So like right here, right in between the fluxes. 
and then you can kind of push it over to each side so a little bit of the flux has a little bit of shading. Maybe that lighting's a little bit better so you can see how it kind of goes in by doing that. And again, it's just this is just one way to shade. Shade whatever you want, however you like. Just getting a little bit of graphite on a pattern makes a big difference. Not even worrying about how you're doing it. So there's more than one way to shade every pattern. And when you're done, sign anywhere you want. Your initials, your name, your chop. So however you want to design your, your signature. And then turn it around. Look how different it looks in all different directions. Be sure to take a photo, upload it to the designated Facebook posting. Would love to see what you did. Everybody wants to see what everyone did. And hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for being here with me. And I look forward to the next one.